Since 93 Sports, the only place for sports, entertainment, and the most relevant social issues of today. Alright, Since 93 Sports here. Wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on Keith Thurman's recent interviews that he did with, I believe, Fight Hype. And he was there for, I'm guessing he's in New York for the 154-pound division tournament or... I don't know, the just the 154 pound card. We all know Charlo Lubin, Heard, Austin Trout, and he has some interesting comments. And I did a video on Keith Thurman before. He was getting a lot of slack for ducking Errol Spence. We all know that the video came out with Keith Thurman sparring some guy in the streets in Nepal when he was supposed to be hampering an elbow injury. And a lot of people felt like his injury was was disingenuous and it was because he was trying to buy more time before he had to get in the ring with Earl Spence and I'm the kind of guy when I support a guy I'm going to go ahead and take my time and see what this guy's intentions was so I wasn't quick to criticize Keith Thurman on what he was doing I was trying to let him enjoy his time off he just got married he had a supposed injury. I'm trying to take up for him. I'm trying to take up for him with the whole body shot situation. I'm trying to let people know that he has heart for, for taking these kind of body shots. But but these recent comments that Keith Thurman has made, man, it, it's really made me a believer of the hype and everyone saying that Keith Thurman is either in fear of Earl Spence Jr. or he's just not in a hurry to fight Errol Spence Jr. for whatever reason and that leads back to him being afraid of Errol Spence Jr. and it's just ridiculous he's trying to play these politics but and he's trying to say you know I got all these mandatories people want to see the rematch to Danny Garcia he's trying to act like that was a close fight when everybody knew he beat he he, he convincingly beat Danny Garcia that's not even a fight that should happen again it wasn't even close I myself felt that he beat him very convincingly when the fight was over I knew who the winner was he was dominating the guy yes the last three rounds he did run and he, he made sure that he secured his victory but at the end of the day he secured his victory and it, it was not really uh you know it really wasn't any question on who won the fight so we know that situation Sean Porter okay the man beat Andre Berto is that the only fight he's had since Keith Thurman? Andre Berto. How does that put him back in the title contention? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, and you want to say that. Earl Spence is taking care of one of your mandatories. That's out the way. Sean Porter, he can fucking wait. He can fight Danny Garcia if he wants another title shot. Okay, that's out the fucking way. And anyway, everybody knows unification takes precedence over mandatories. So get that the fuck out the way. So Earl Spence Jr. is the man he should be fighting, you know, and I was the kind of guy that felt like, OK, we shouldn't just have these fighters fighting back to back hard, tough fights. And Keith Thurman has had back to back tough fights. But at the end of the day, when the motherfucker only fight one time a year, he got to fight tough competition every time out because he ain't fighting that often. So that's just the situation, man. And, you know, he's trying to play politics and everything. You know, it's unification time, man. You know you're not getting a WBO opportunity. The man that got the IBF title, he's with the PBC. He fuck with your advisor. He fucks with the promoters that you fuck with. That's the easiest fight to make, man. And I feel like Keith Thurman has a really good shot to beat Errol Spence, but he just has to get that confidence. I don't know what's happened to him to where he doesn't want to challenge himself and i want people you know i was one of the guys that said man you can't keep having these fighters fight these tough fights back to back but with a guy like keith thurman who's not active i mean you gotta you gotta fight him tough now if keith thurman was fighting two three times a year then he could get soft touches man but when you only fighting one time a year man like you can't get soft touches it, it just don't work like that man i believe 2016 the guy fought one time this year, the guy fought one time. You know, this is the prime of your career, or it's supposed to be the prime of your career. You know, like, man, you're just wasting your prime, man. And I support, you know, Andre Ward for 
what he put in the game, but everybody ain't had the kind of career that Andre Ward had up to the point of, you know, when they're 32 years old. You know, everybody can't just get out of there and talk about retirement, blah, blah, blah. Everybody ain't took care of their money, and everybody ain't fought the kind of competition that they needed to be able to solidify themselves as, a, you know, all-time great at an early age like Andre Ward. And at the end of the day, I don't even know if Andre Ward is going to stay retired. He could get lured back in just like Floyd Mayweather. You know, Floyd Mayweather left when he was, uh, I believe, 30. He came back. I believe he, he retired like two times. You know what I'm saying? So that's a whole different situation. But, man, I'm really disappointed in Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is basically doing to Earl Spence what he basically despised Floyd Mayweather for doing to him. You know? At the end of the day, yeah, um, Earl Spence is not um, Keith Thurman's mandatory like Keith like Keith Thurman was Floyd Mayweather's mandatory, but it's kind of the same thing. He's playing the whole bo- boxing politics. I'm the man. You ain't done enough. But really, man, who who's at 147, man? Like, come on. Who who else he going to fight? The man took your fucking mandatory, Lamont Peterson. And now all you got left, you know, to snatch Danny Garcia out the fucking picture. We not even worried about that. I fucks with Danny Garcia. I wanted to see him beat Keith Thurman, but man, he dominated or Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia got to work his way up. Sean Porter got to work his way up, man. The only person Sean Porter beat was Andre Berto. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure the Berto fight is the only fight that Sean Porter has had since the um since the Keith Thurman fight. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the situation, man. We gotta, you know, we gotta find some motherfuckers to put. Um, Sean Porter in there with man let Sean Porter mix it up with some of these other top uh, 147 guys you know what I'm saying let him get some 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 more credible wins you can't just lose you know what I'm saying a, a title and then think you just gonna you know be back up to the fucking mandatory that ain't how it's supposed to work man you gotta mix it up with some of these top 10 guys man that's how it's supposed to work so that's just my thoughts man Keith Thurman man you one time Thurman, you got skills, man. You gotta have confidence in your skills, and you gotta be able to constantly want to display those top level, elite level skills, and prove that you're an elite level fighter against competition, man. That's what it's all about. And you gotta have confidence in your skills. You had the skills to beat a guy like Earl Spence, in my opinion. So I don't know what the problem is, man. He he really ain't talking confident, man. And I heard that Earl Spence and him was in the same you know, in the same room, basically, and, you know, Errol Spence, like, punking the guy, man, he's bullying the guy, man, you know, that's, that's what's gonna have to be a, the situation that happened, man, he's gonna be bullied into a fight the way Laura bullied Canelo into a fight, and the way Triple G basically embarrassed Canelo into a fight, and, you know, that's the situation that's gonna happen, man, I just can't believe that Keith Thurman's trying to play this whole A-side when that's what he despised the most, when Floyd Mayweather was in power. And now he's the man. And he's doing the same thing. But anyway, that's my thoughts, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when all my latest content drops. And I'm out.